Hey guys, it's the time of year at last! E3, baby! Is the amount of enthusiasm I'd normally be showing, but Sis decided to sit this one out. Coward. Although, maybe I should bow out too. Sis isn't here, and without Sony at the conference... Nah, I can't leave you guys hanging. Alright, let's get stuck into it. I'm Riley, and this is a Bullet Tune Weekend! So, who was surprised at how underwhelming the EA conference was? I mean, props to them, I guess. They knew where to focus their attention. They kicked things off with a pretty good look at Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And to its credit, it looked... fine? A perfectly solid Star Wars title by the looks of things. The problem is just that, especially after the travesty of Battlefront 2, fine probably isn't good enough. It's satisfactory, but you want to do more than just that. You want to impress people. And the gameplay we got... didn't, really. Though, I guess it didn't help that they didn't exactly get the best player in the world to show it off. Didn't exactly learn from the blunder of Final Fantasy XV, I say. Actually, the thing that did impress me was from Apex Legends. I love hero-based games, obviously. So getting to see the new legend Watson was way cool! Her abilities just look so fun and unique! Definitely a character with a higher skill floor, but I can't wait to try her out. The other stuff they talked about was also seriously wicked! The competitive mode is whatever, frankly, but they teased upcoming map events! Honestly, Apex is a game that has to crank out content constantly if it wants to survive. It's directly competing with Fortnite and Overwatch for crying out loud. They can't afford to go so long without introducing new stuff when those two games are frequently pumping out content. So the additions are definitely welcome. Then there was Microsoft, which, I mean, they showed off a lot of games. Psychonauts 2 is one I'm sure made a lot of people pretty happy. Never played the first one myself, but I know it has a die-hard fan base. Then there was Fantasy Star Online 2, coming to the US at last, and hell yeah, that I am amped for! But I I'm probably just gonna get it on PC. No way in hell am I getting an Xbox just for that. Frankly, the best thing about the Microsoft conference was that the games that they showed off that I'm most stoked about are gonna be on other systems. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot looks awesome, and I really hope it goes all the way through the Cell Saga. I know that's more Gohan's story than Goku's, but still, it'd be amazing! They also showed off a new cinematic trailer for Cyberpunk 2077, which was also pretty badass, and the reveal of Keanu Reeves was a sweet touch. Seems like games are starting to get more and more A-list stars these days. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. But dude... DUDE! TALES OF ARISE! OH MAN, IT LOOKS GORGEOUS! I've said it before and I will say it again! Tales is my absolute favorite JRPG series, so I cannot wait for this, man! It's gonna be so good! The Bethesda Conference, or as I prefer to call it, the Fallout 76 Redemption Tour, was... Pretty meh. Lots of mobile games and stuff I didn't really care about. The highlight was, unsurprisingly, the Fallout 76 announcement. The game's getting some sort of huge update that's bringing NPCs and a new campaign to it. Honestly, well, that might be enough to get me at least a little interested in playing the game now. I already know how this is gonna go. It's gonna be too little too late for a lot of people. I'm definitely not one to pat them on the back for cleaning up their own mess, but I'll give them a chance to fix things at least. Otherwise, Ghostwire Tokyo looked pretty cool, though it was only a cinematic trailer, so we'll see. Might just be a bit biased because, you know, Japan, but whatever. Ubisoft actually kicked off their conference with my highlight. That first look at Watch Dogs Legion was actually pretty friggin' great. I just about busted a gut at the part with the old lady. God, that was funny. I just hope it doesn't turn into a case of them making big promises and not delivering on them. I mean, if what they're saying is true and every civilian is recruitable, then this game's gotta be absolutely massive! Uh, we did get some gameplay though, and it was pretty solid, so we'll see if they can really walk the walk on this one. The rest of their conference was honestly pretty tepid. The only other thing they showed off that grabbed my interest was the tease for their new game, Gods and Monsters. But I'm sure a lot of people are absolutely livid that they didn't have anything to show for Assassin's Creed or Beyond Good and Evil 2. Especially that last one. We know about that game for what, three years now? And we still hardly know anything about it or have seen much in the way of gameplay. Here's hoping we'll see more next time. 
Next up was the Final Fantasy Hour, better known as the Square Enix Conference. So they started off with the Final Fantasy VII Remake, of course. Fans finally got to see some gameplay, and unlike last time, it actually looked competent. Though they were definitely cutting it down. God knows that boss would have taken longer than the few minutes they showed. There were a bunch of other Final Fantasy games there too. The Final Fantasy VIII Remaster, an expansion for Final Fantasy XIV, the works. Honestly, it's hard for me to get all that invested in it since I've never cared much about Final Fantasy. The only one I loved was Final Fantasy VI. When they do a remake of that, I'll be all ears. And that said, the rest of the conference was fine. It was actually pretty nicely put together on a presentation level. But you guys know me. They ended on exactly the thing I was most amped for! The new Avengers game! Dude! It looked amazing! I'm... I'm really really hoping Cap doesn't actually buy the farm. Uh, not that early anyway, but the story looks incredible, and there were even little bits in it of what seemed like gameplay. Uh, people were ribbing on the character designs, but they honestly looked fine to me. Uh, not my favorite designs for these characters, but uh, definitely not bad. Totally looking forward to it. And then came the defending champions of E3, Nintendo, back to secure their title. And they came out swinging with the announcement of the hero from Dragon Quest making his way to Smash! And it looked like they had a bunch of different heroes from over the years. It was sick! They also showed off a lot of Luigi's Mansion 3! Dude, I have loved Luigi's Mansion since I was a kid. I can't wait to jump back into it. Actually, a um friend of mine did a stream of the first game last Halloween. You should totally check it out sometime. Seriously, do it. I was a bit bummed we didn't get anything on the new Metroid Prime 4, but I get why. They had to start the game over, so it'll be a while. I also heard they were working on a Switch-exclusive Tales game, but that doesn't look like it's the case, with Tales of Arise being at the Microsoft conference and all. Unless it'll be another Tales game at a later date. That could be awesome! Two Tales games so close together? Yes, please! Everything else was, uh, pretty tame, except for two little announcements. First off, Banjo and Kazooie are coming to Smash! Finally! Now, can we all just agree to never ask Sakurai for anything ever again? Actually, it's pretty interesting. We'd heard Nintendo and Microsoft were working together on something. I doubt this was it, so maybe this was just a byproduct of whatever they were collaborating on. Well, hopefully we'll learn more in time. But that wasn't the biggest reveal of the night. No, that's something reserved for the bomb that Nintendo dropped at the very end. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is officially getting a direct sequel! Oh man, oh man, I'm geeking out, dude! That's incredible! And the teaser looked legit. I, I mean, just based on that short video, I could probably make a whole video speculating on just that alone. Here's hoping we learn a ton more and soon. And that was basically everything. Overall, a tame but not at all disappointing A3 this year. Lots of really awesome reveals came out of it, and we got some good looks at games a lot of people have been waiting for. I'd call that a win. Still sucks that Sony wasn't around, but that's just how it is, I guess. Anyway, what did you guys think of this year's showings? Leave a comment below and give that like button a zap while you're down there. Check out the site and support us on Patreon, but most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you're notified whenever we upload a new video. This has been a Bullet Soon Weekend. I'm Riley, signing off. Keep up the awesome and stay tuned!